This is going to be a tutorial on Symbaloo.edu.com. The first thing that you do when you get here is that you need to sign up. So you have to type in your name, your email. Give yourself a password. You can select um, if you want to get their emails here, and then you need to click that you agree to their terms of service, create your account. You can change all these things, and now you are ready to go. You're back to Symbaloo, and here is where it's going to start you out. Um, I have created a Symbaloo already. Um, mine is over here called Library. This is the one that I've been working on. Um, when you first log in, it's going to take you to a home web mix. Um, and this is just a couple that they have preloaded onto here. Um, there's also one for news, highlights, uh, major news, education, sports, and then you can create your own. To create your own, go up to add a web mix. And then you can give it a name. I'll name mine for two just to show you. And here it is. Now you can start adding um, tiles in. So to add a new tile, you click add a new tile wherever you want it. Um, if you want to add one, then you put in the URL for what you want to add. Um, so if I want to add one for the library I type that in and then it says oops there's no preset tile with this description um, so you can create your own tile so you would click here and then you put the website again And then you want to add the title. Uh, I can't add that one. Um, because that one's only on our internal server, but I can add this one. Um, Now it's verified. I'm going to give it a name. It's the Central City School Library. And then I can design the title. So I can pick either white text or black text. And then I can select the background for the tile. I can add an icon if I want <coughs> by looking through these options here. Or what I can do is upload my own image, which is what I want to do. So here I'm going to select my own file. Um, I'm going to pick a file that I created for the library website, this library paw, choose. You can obviously use any picture that you would want to use here. And then you just have to resize this little box. And adjust it to where you want it. And then I press use and then here's my preview of what that looks like and now I might want to change um, that to black and that to white and back to black. Okay, so then I'm going to add this tile to my web mix. and then I can just drag it right there and there it is that will now be our link that opens up the library website in a new page. So as you can see that one link is there. I'm going to show you the one for the library that I already have made or have started working on. So these are the buttons that I created to put here. I did the library OPAC 
um, the Central City website, my Twitter site for the library, the Facebook site for the library, the AR website, and the Iowa AEA online resources. Um, and that's what I've put in this corner. Over here, I might want to add kids games. So I might do PBS kids. And as you can see, as I start typing in PBS, it already gives me some different options. So I can just go ahead and grab that one and drag it in. It will automatically take me to pbskids.org. So that's another easy way to get those in there. Um, one of the things that you need to consider when you're doing this is your arrangement, how you've put your tiles, where you've put them, and how you put them together. Um, a good way to do this is to look through some of the ones that are preloaded onto your Symbaloo. Um, so you can see this one has them down the side and through the middle. Um, some of them have them, these are all the same button, but they all link to different things. This one has the setup a little bit different. And then this one uses pictures. So each picture goes to a different news story. Okay, so there's lots of different ways that you can organize your information. Um, and this is just kind of a basic one. So you can organize them any way that you choose. You can also search through um, other people's by clicking the plus. So if you are trying to find a web mix for let's say research, type that in and press enter. And then here's some that have already been created for you to use that you can view. So those are the basics of Symbaloo. Um, another thing that you can do with this is to have kids create these and um, use them as their online personal learning environment. And I will post another video that someone else has already made about that.